Hey, hey, everybody, welcome, welcome. It's Timmy here with Chaka Tour. Hope you're having a great night. It is rainy and thundering and lightning here in Connecticut. So I hope that we will be able to get through this live tonight without any problems. But I'm super glad that you are here with me and I'm even more excited because today I got my new Club Couture shipment right over here I haven't even pulled it out yet and for those of you that don't know whoops what Club Couture is it is an awesome subscription program that um, I offer that uh, delivers a brand new exclusive transfer um, right to your door with some beautiful coordinating chalk paste um, so that you can create some really awesome decor and tonight we're going to show you what's in this little package and create it for you live so that you can see how it's all done so keep your fingers crossed that uh, the storm will not affect our live and we're going to dive right into our project and i'm super excited to show this to you for a couple of reasons one is that um, i was just talking about um, this with um, the folks who attended my online Facebook party yesterday. Uh, one of my awesome customers, Brianna, hosted an online Facebook party with me and she got a group of friends together. And uh, Brianna was so excited when she saw that this was going to be the transfer of the month that she jumped right on and became a Club Couture subscriber and shared it with all her friends that came to the party last night about how excited she was. Um, and so I promised that I would be going live tonight to show how to create with it. So here we go. This is the cutie we're going to be working with. I know you're like, what is it? Well, this is a cute little hedgehog. And we've got some words here that say looking sharp. And I am going to show you how it is that you're going to create this cutie using our cute little 5x7 board and base. So, I hope that you love this project. It's going to be super fun. And um, I thought before we dive right into actually doing this transfer, I would just make sure that... Um, we talked a little bit about the fact that one of the most awesome things about Chalk Couture and our products are that our chalk paste that we use to put onto the screens that create the design are water soluble, um, but they're really super cool. It's not a paint. Many people will call them paints. They're not paints. They're actually paste, paste, <laughs> like chalk paste. Um, and it goes on over the surface of your screen wet and then it dries hard and that means it becomes permanent until you want to remove it and you simply can remove it with some water so this was um, a design I had done earlier uh, using our walk by faith transfer this is one that's currently available on my site so if you want to go check out all the available designs feel free to go ahead and do that um, but you can see I'm rubbing it with my hands I'm scrubbing it nothing is coming off and nothing is coming off on my hands but if I want to remove the design on this transfer uh, the surface I mean excuse me then all I need is to take my board eraser dip it in some water and then just gently use the board eraser to swirl off that chalk paste so this means that you can have a single surface and reuse it over and over again uh, simply by just using this great little board eraser and some water and that's all it takes to clean it up. Wasn't that super simple? Now this is cool uh, of a surface because it actually has two sides so we could actually have just chalked on the other side if we wanted. Um, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to erase. Now um, I do have our fuzzing cloth here and we're going to use our fuzzing cloth in a couple of different ways tonight but this uh, microfiber side is a great way to use to dry up your board so it's ready to go. So now it's dry and we are ready to use it to chalk on. 
So I don't need this water bath here, so I'm just gonna move it off to the side. And um, our board and bases um, is a five by seven surface, as I said, a two-sided chalkboard surface. So you can use either side or both sides. And that's kind of fun because you could do one season on one side and a different season on the other. So maybe you've got fall on one side and Halloween on the other, uh, or uh, Thanksgiving on one side and Christmas on the other, right? So super cool. And then it comes with this little wooden, um, what we call base. And this itself could be chalked if you wanted to, um, because you can definitely use our chalk paste on wood surfaces as well. And we have quite a few different wood surfaces, so that's certainly possible. Um, but when we're gonna chalk on it, we're just gonna put this piece aside because we don't need it right now. And um, if you um, decided that you really loved the idea of getting an exclusive transfer delivered right to your door every month and you want to become a Club Couture subscriber and get a transfer as cute as this little hedgehog guy, then all you need to do is head over to my website and click on Club and you will see um, the information to sign up. It's a really awesome program. Um, it's just $19.99. It's free shipping. Um, there's an initial three-month commitment. If you sign up this month, you won't get charged until the 5th of next month of September, and you won't start receiving a, a, a package until September. If you want to get your hands on this cute little hedgehog, and I'm going to kind of guess it's going to be pretty popular and you might want to, once you sign up, um, to be a Club Couture subscriber, then you have the option and the opportunity to uh, sign up uh, or to grab the previous month's transfer. It's the only time you're going to be able to do that. So if that seems like something that you'd really like, then you can absolutely um, pick up this cute little hedgehog still this month while supplies last. So uh, if this is really something that you want to grab, definitely plan on doing that. So before we get started with this transfer, you'll see that there's a couple of different quadrants here, pieces to this transfer. And so we've got his little head, his little body, the words here looking sharp. And then this is his little nose, I believe, and cheeks. So one of the things you'll also see is there's these little markings here. And these little markings are going to help us to line up the transfer so it goes exactly where we want it to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our transfer trimmers and we're just going to cut along the cut lines to make it work a little bit easier with working with this transfer. So super simple. And once we've cut it all, then we're ready to start working. Um, now, the three colors that come with this cute little kit, um, we get chalk paste singles that look like this. Um, you'll get three of these. They're single-use packets, although they hold a decent amount of chalk paste in here. Um, and you won't need them... Uh, all of it in here to complete the entire project. You'll actually have some left over, which is awesome. Um, the three colors you'll get are almond, guava, and storm, which is a nice gray color. So I have um, these colors here in my bigger three ounce containers. And so that's what I'm gonna use rather than opening up my little chalk paste singles. But if you decide to subscribe to Club Couture, you will get uh, three chalk paste singles to coordinate with that transfer of the month. And what's really awesome is that you'll never know what the project is until it comes to your door. Or uh, if you want to get a sneak peek, I do uh, share information on my lives as well as um, provide information in my special group just for my Club Couture subscribers. So I will give you lots of ideas about how you can use this Club Couture um, blah, transfer. So I had a little thing of blobby there on my towel. Um, and um, throughout the month during uh, the time that this transfer is available, I'll be giving you ideas about how different ways that you can use it. Um, and our other subscribers are also gonna be sharing what they're doing. So um, I am 
not going to totally center this guy because I'm actually going to want to make sure that there is room for his cute little head. And um, you'll see that these registration marks are what's going to make it easy for me to line this up. So I'm just kind of checking to see if I've got enough room based on where I placed that little guy and I think it's perfect. So um, we're going to just make sure that this is nice and smooth and there aren't any air bubbles. And it is this storm gray that I'm gonna use for his body. So when you open up a chalk paste container or when you use one of the singles, um, need your single pack before you use it, or if you're using uh, one of our three ounce containers, just open it up and give it a nice stir. You want the chalk paste to be about the consistency of yogurt or sour cream. So as you see, it's kind of got a nice flow here. So that is the perfect consistency. And then all we need to do to be able to get this chalk paste onto the screen is dip our squeegee into the chalk paste container and then simply pull the chalk paste over the surface of the screen. Now don't be afraid, be pretty generous on how much chalk paste you're putting on initially because we want to make sure we spread it over the entire surface of the screen and doesn't matter which direction you go in and then be sure to get those registration marks as well because that is going to make it easy for you to line up the next piece and then we're going to go ahead and erase those registration marks once we're all done so i'm just taking my squeegee here and just pulling off any excess because as i said we don't need a whole lot and then once I pull back the transfer, we're going to reveal the design. Now these are silk screen transfers. So if you're just watching for the first time, these are very different than stencils. Um, they're much easier to use. And best of all, they're reusable. So we're just going to put this right into the water bath and we're gonna use that same board eraser to just clean off that screen. So um, I'm going to actually show you exactly how to do that while we wait for this body to dry and head over and do the next couple of pieces on this cute little guy. So I'm done with this storm gray so I'm just going to close that up and let's move this over here for a moment and bring my water bath back here. And I do have my handy dandy towel. So here it is, here's the board eraser. I just put the um, screen right here into the water bath. And it doesn't matter, warm, cold water, doesn't matter. And I'm just using the board eraser to kind of brush off the chalk paste on the front of the screen. So see now, perfectly clean. Now, you may find that when you're using some of our darker colors that you'll get some staining on the front of your transfer. No worries, it's not gonna affect its usage. Um, and you should expect to be able to use a transfer about eight to 10 different times. And you can use it on a whole slew of surfaces. We're using it on one of our chalkboard surfaces tonight and I love working with our chalkboard surfaces. Um, but we also have some gorgeous uh, wood surfaces. We have a brand new metal tray. Um, and one of the things that I really love the most, to be honest, is finding found surfaces that I can use and chalk on. So I'm always looking for some new and appropriate um, spaces that could be made pretty with some chalk. So I know, Karen, thanks for joining us. Yes, I know, it's very appropriate, right? This storm gray for a thunderstormy day. I have to say, since I've started, it seems to have quieted down at my house, which I'm really glad about. Now, um, you're probably wondering what it is that I'm doing. I have a dry paper towel here, and this is one way that I find that makes it really easy for me to reuse this transfer pretty quickly or right away, or just store it right back on the transfer sheet that it came with. And this is a great way to store your transfers 
so that you can keep it ready to reuse the next time you go around. So um, we've already washed it, cleaned it, and we're gonna just put it aside. And while we were doing that, we were letting this first layer here dry. Now, this will take a couple of minutes and I can start to see around the edges where it's starting to dry. But this was a pretty big open screen area. So that means it's gonna take a few minutes for this to dry naturally. You know, so figure, couple of minutes three or four minutes right if you're in a little bit of a hurry you can take a little tool uh, a hair dryer or in this case I have a heat tool and we're just going to use that to give this a quick dry so we can hurry the process along And that's it it shouldn't take too long and you do want to make sure that when you are using it that um, you give it a second or two to cool before you head on to your next layer so um, you can see the registration marks are here and that's what's going to help us to line up our head just perfect but also this is a little slot for his ear and so that's going to make it easy for us to line this up as well now I'm just going to kind of give us a little touch test and indeed it is dry and we are ready for the next part which is this darling little head. So if you're watching I'd love to hear you give me a suggestion on what we should name this cute little guy once he's all done. I think he's going to need a name because I'm going to put him on my, um, my desk and hopefully he'll give me a smile during the day when it's crazy and busy during my work day. And as I said, we are going to use the registration marks here to line this up. And we are also can use kind of that little cutout there where his ear is. So um, you can kind of see right through the gray where we put that registration mark and that's what we're lining up there. Now his head, I'm going to use almond. Now, I'll confess, this isn't almond. Uh, I don't have a big container of almond. I sold it, so I need to buy some more. Um, this is um, actually an old color that we had called sand, but it's very similar. Now, I don't need to go over the registration marks again because they're already there, but I do want to move pretty quickly here and make sure that I don't have such a heavy layer that I re-wet the gray underneath. So the key is to just kind of move a little bit quickly here and then pull up your transfer gently. And there we go. And there's his face. Look at, he's already coming out super cute, isn't he? So same thing, I'm gonna take this transfer and just put it right here in my water bath. You do not need to uh, wash your uh, transfers immediately. Um, if you have a water bath nearby and it's easy for you to do, then go for it. Um, if you want to do it after you've completed your entire project, that's fine too. Um, so here we go. We can see we've got that cute little head on there. Super simple already, right? So all we need to add in is this cute little looking sharp script. And then again, we're going to use these registration marks to line up so that we can put on his nose and his cute little cheek blush. And for that, I'm gonna use our coral. Um, as I said, what comes in the kit, if you uh, get the kit, is going to be uh, guava, which is a pretty similar color to this gorgeous coral. Coral, I have to say, has been my color of the month uh, of the season, I have to say, and we don't have it any longer, which I'm quite sad about. Um, if you find that your chalk paste needs a little bit of water, just have a little squirt bottle nearby, and that will do it. But most often, just giving it a really good stir will do the trick. So that's all we need to do. And again, we probably want to give that a little bit of a blast with the heat gun just to make sure he's dry. And voila, he is done. 
Now, uh, again, we'll just give him another second or two here just to make sure he is entirely dry. And then we're going to get ready to put on his cute little cheeks and add the looking sharp. And then we will be done with this little project. That's just how super fast it is. So from start to finish uh, with cleanup, literally you can do a project in 15 minutes. Um, and that's one of the things that I really love about working with Chalk Couture, because sometimes we don't have a lot of time, but we want to have a little creativity period where we can just relax. And that's one of the things that I have found that Chalk Couture has really given me. After a busy, stressful day at work, it's really nice to be able to have something that I can just relax with and enjoy doing. And uh, if that's something that sounds like it would work for you and you would like that, definitely give this a try. We have some great projects in addition to these cute little Club Couture options that you can uh, try out. And just try to line up here my registration marks and I can't see them as well as I might like here. So let's see. Oh, there he is. I just had to kind of scoot it around here. Yep, and I can see, he actually can see his little face under here, so he's lined up really nicely. And I'm just going to take a little squeegee segment. I cut one of my smaller squeegees and used that. And oh, that's all we need. Look at how cute already. Look at how darling he is. Now, I don't need these registration marks anymore. We're going to put the looking sharp here right at the bottom. So I'm just going to take this little board eraser here and clean up those marks. We don't need them anymore. They did their job. They helped us out. And what do you think? Has anybody come up with a name yet? Karen, if you're still with me, I'd love to hear some name ideas. And if you're watching this on the replay, give your vote. I want to hear what you think. And I might even have a little prize for those of you that give me a cute name option. Because I think he's super darling now. And I just love it. I said it's a he, but maybe it's a she. Look at those cute little cheeks. Love that. All right. One more quick blast. And then we're going to add in the words. And we can decide where we want those words. They can go up here, they can go below. I'm kind of thinking I might like to have it up here. That's my thought about that. So let me just get this fuzzing cloth out one more time for this last piece. And if you're wondering what's the purpose of the fuzzing cloth, well, our transfers have a sticky back. They have an adhesive. And when you use the uh, fuzzing cloth, some of the lint gets picked up and put on the back of the transfer and that makes it so that it's easier to pull up on your surface and it won't stretch that transfer so you'll get a lot more use out of it and we want to make sure that you get those eight to ten uses out of your transfer all right everything is dry we are ready to add this right over and i think like i said since we're going to use this pretty color oh socks i think i like that name Oh, Melissa, thanks for that suggestion. Good idea. And I'm not exactly sure where, how far up I want this. I think a little higher. So you can position this where it is that you want it to go. Line it up in a way that works best for you. And then I'm just, again, going to stick my squeegee into my chalk paste. And then just pull that chalk paste across the screen. Now the only areas we're worried about are where the letters are. We don't have to worry about all the rest of that green area because that's not the screen, that's just the sticky part. And again, we want to move quickly enough that we're not letting the chalk paste dry onto our screen, but rather letting it be on our board. And there we go. Peel back and reveal that cute, cute sign. So what do you think, guys? Isn't he darling? And all we're going to do is put him right here into our base. And there we go. Now we've got a cute little sign that we can add to uh, any cute little end table or desk or your child's room. 
maybe Melissa might like one. And uh, that would be just fun to add a little smile to your face. I hope on what this is was a rainy Wednesday hump day that you enjoyed this fun little project with me. And if you'd like to uh, check out all of the fun designs that are available um, through our Club Couture program or of any of the uh, transfers and uh, paste colors that we have, feel free to go ahead and visit my website. You can place an order directly on my website and have all of this awesomeness delivered right to your door. Of course, if you have any questions whatsoever as you're watching or uh, listening or thinking about this, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy, very happy to answer your questions, give you project ideas or suggestions, um, help you try to figure out which transfer goes best with which um, surface. And of course, if you're watching this and you're thinking, hey, that looks like fun, I could do that. I would say, yes, you can do this. And I am looking for business-minded people to join my team. And let me tell you what is all about becoming a chocolate tour designer because it's so awesome of an opportunity. And I want you to know about it so that you can decide if it's something that works for you. So we offer what we call a business in a box opportunity, meaning we're gonna give you everything you need to get up and started for just $99. And with that, you'll get over $240 worth of product that you can use to begin your very own chalk tour business. Now, how you run your business is totally up to you. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. Um, I have some designers on my team who, like me, enjoy selling the products and going live, uh, doing online parties, um, and even doing uh, sip and chalks where they gather some friends and family together to, um, to uh, do a class together and uh, do projects together, and that's a lot of fun. Um, some people buy the products at a discount and then what they do is they use those products and they create designs that they sell at vendor fairs um, or online at Etsy or anything like that. So that's another way that you can run your chocolate tour business. Um, if you like doing big expos um, and want to sell product and introduce people to chalk couture that way, you can do that. So there's lots of different ways that you can run a chalk couture business. And not only do you get an awesome business in the box opportunity, which is that $99, but you also become part of the designer community where we are really um, invested in helping you grow your business and becoming successful. As a matter of fact, that's a, um, one of the things that I take very seriously as my role as a leader here in Chalk Couture. And I wanna make sure that you are successful from the get-go. So I provide you with a six-week business builders course, uh, personalized weekly mentoring sessions with me, and um, as much support as you want um, and information. Now, not only do I have great information for you, but Chalk Couture also does as well. We have a full, Chalk University um, available to you in your designer office when you sign up and lots of resources that you can take advantage of so that you can start growing your business right away from day one. So if any of that sounds like uh, something that you'd be interested in, please let me know um, or you can check out all of the information um, in um, on my website so you can go and check out just click join and that will take you to a list of all of the items that are in our business builders kit and uh, if you want to know more about me and my business then definitely go check out um, the um, information on my website but I'd be, I'd be happy to talk to you at any time as well if you want to become part of my business builders group um, I do have a business opportunity group. Just put in opportunity in your comments and I will be happy to connect with you and send you some information so that you can review all of the details about what it means to become a designer so that you can make an informed decision. So, all right. So um, let me just uh, end by saying thanks so much. It's great to have had you here with me. Let me um, pop up also just a quick reminder about Club Couture and what's all included and how you can get involved with that. 
This is uh, some information about what's included in our monthly subscription program called Club Couture. You get an exclusive B-size transfer, three chalk paste singles, how-to videos instru and instructions that are emailed to you every month. You become a member of my exclusive Club Couture group where I am going to be sharing lots of ways in which you can use your monthly transfer. It's free shipping and then we also have some great special offers and deals for um, our Club Couture subscribers. Um, in addition, as I mentioned, you have the ability to uh, pick up last month's or the current month's transfer as an add-on. The other add-on that you can get is the Kickstart Kit which includes a small squeegee, a multi-tool, two pack of those awesome board erasers, um, a full container, a three ounce container of our bright white Psychology paste. And then you also get our gorgeous nine by 12 Aiden um, magnetic porcelain chalkboard and the board and base that we used tonight. For just $69.99, it normally retails at $77. So you definitely get a nice little discount there if you join. You can only get that when you sign up for the Kickstart Kit. Uh, uh, sorry, when you when you join for Club Couture and only when you first subscribe. So if you decide you want it, you definitely need to grab it at the time that you uh, create your subscription. So I hope you had fun. I can't wait uh, to hear. Miss Melissa said we should name our little guy Socks. Um, you'll have to remind me what you think, what you want this cute guy to be. But uh, give me a vote and uh, maybe you'll see a little hedgehog coming your way. Um, so let me know and I hope you all have a great night. It's a pleasure having uh, had a chance to talk with you. Take care. Bye.